lesson number 11 uh, February 5th and uh, it went pretty good uh, the wind started picking up uh, before we get out um, but it wasn't bad uh, we left the pattern and I did some uh, a little more foggle work uh, under the hood uh, unusual attitudes uh, different pitches of the plane he'd put it in uh, a certain attitude and then I would head up and have to correct it to a straight and level flight um, and then we did some uh, um, accelerated stalls, uh, so instead of stalling at uh, 49 uh, or um, miles per hour, uh, we were stalling at higher speeds, so we were uh, going into a high bank, uh, 60 degree bank, and um, stalling out at 65, almost 70. So uh, that should be interesting on the camera, uh, hopefully that got captured. Um, so good nice and clear day so you should have uh, uh, the horizon on it so it should be pretty crazy um, came back did uh, corrected a um, my pre-flight uh, I mean pre-solo uh, quiz uh, to 100% um, didn't do too bad on that and uh, so now I'm just uh, waiting for my medical so as soon as I'm, uh, I get my medical uh, in another 10 days here uh, I uh, should be uh, supposedly ready, a nice calm day, uh, ready to take the plane by myself, so it'll be pretty exciting. So we'll see what I have for video, when my, one of my cameras is acting up, so uh, I don't know if I got anything on it or not, but we'll see. And uh, so there'll just be a couple clips here, and uh, uh, we'll see you again maybe next week. Thanks. Traffic system 2821 uniform departing 36 with field. Engine in the green. Yes. Um, altitude. Oh. Time yep. check. Okay. 25 after. The heels on the ground. Power forward. Airspeed is alive. And if the downwind wing wants to come up a little bit early, that's okay. Let it come up. Keep the airplane straight. That's it. After you have a climb established, you can allow the airplane to turn a little bit into the wind. A little bit of buff at the treetop. We'll climb on up to 2,500 feet. While we're in the climb, let me get you, I'm going to put the foggles on you and let you uh, get a little bit of foggle practice here. Getting a little bit of turbulence from that wind blowing around there. Yeah, want to put those on? I'll you have the plane? I, I have the airplane. Excellent. Oh, if I may, just one more second. Let's see if that'll work there. All right. We determined that these do fit. They just open my ear muscle a little bit, so I get a little extra noise. Okay, yes. you've got the airplane, a uh, heading of 330 degrees. 330. Uh, normal, normal climb. Normal climb. I got a little climb here, 330, and... You just keep, uh, you're going to set your pitch, fine-tune your pitch off of your airspeed. Yep. Got a hold, 330. Just keep your eyes moving around on those gauges. Climb indication. Climb indication. This is going to tell you if you're turning, and if you're turning, the wings aren't level. You're either that or you're rocking it with the rudder pedals. Oh, rocking something. So if you see this one over to one side or the other, double check to see if you're banked or not. Okay. over there. No, well, you can level off at 2,500 feet. So coming up on 2250. Oh, 
Uh, traffic looks good out there. Yep. I don't know, I'm looking at the scenery down below us here. That's uh... Head over there. 2400. Do. I've got the airplane. You have the airplane? I want you to uh, kind of just kind of lean forward and look down at the floor with your... Look at the floor? Put your head down. Yeah, tilt okay. your head forward. Tilt your head all the way forward. That's it. Okay, now I'm going to just go to uh, fly the airplane for a few here. And, uh... And uh, when I tell you you have the airplane, I want you to look up and resume back to straight level flight, okay? Affirmative. Better to do these on a cloudy day when you don't see the sunshine changing <laughs> around in the cockpit. Okay, you've got the airplane. I have the airplane. Look at, look at here. <laughs> your uh, wings, roll wings level. Roll the wings level first. Then bring the nose to the horizon. Then you can bring your power back in. Don't let it come high. A little bit high. Don't, don't go overshooting high. About 5 degrees, 10 degrees high is the most room you want to get it up there. That scan going. Put your power back in. Back on the horizon, you want to be in a slight, very slight climb attitude. By 10 degrees is about normal. Wings level. Your power back in. Add power. Bring the power okay. back in. <laughs> the other add power. They, I think, yeah, I think said just bring it back. Bring the power back. Yeah, oh, no, no, i That was my mistake. I should have said add power. That's the old, uh, airliner crashed back in the 50s when the captain yelled, take off power, and they did. <laughs> oh, not too bad. Uh, not too bad. Pretty slow. Okay. I've got the airplane. You have the airplane. Assume the position. Yeah, assume the position. <laughs> Thank you, sir. May I have another? <laughs> yes. Airplane. Right? Down nose on the right. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My bad. Look at this one. Don't look outside. Yeah. Well, <laughs> okay, like, nose on the right. Okay, now. Get the head you, jerk. Once you get it back into position, you will go to a slight climb attitude. Add your power back to. The I'm a cheater. I cheated. Yeah, don't look out there. Yeah, you don't want to be looking outside. Trend, give me that trend. Still climbing a little bit there. Need that. RPMs. Okay, I got the airplane. Put you, your head down. You have the airplane? I've got the airplane. The airplane. I have the airplane. We are fairly le fairly level. Whoa, we're doing something. <laughs> the thing we can do is we'll get we can get uh, an accelerated stall if we're in a steep turn and you pull it back too fast, it'll stall. Okay. Up about sixty. Yeah, Mike was talking about that this week. Well, let's try.
try one of those, as long as then we'll go down and do some landings. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, set up normal cruise power, and we'll do a steep, uh, or a little bit less than cruise, because we're going to try to get a stall out of it here. Oh, okay. 20, still, got, still got our altitude. 2,700, yep. Yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and enter a steep turn, and I want you to uh, add a lot of back, get at least about 60 degrees and a lot of back pressure. 6 degree turn? About 6 degrees bank. Base 45. Try not to go over 60. Now we're going to reduce power a little bit, so just keep the bank steep and pull back really fast. Not we're rolling out your ailerons. Keep the bank in. Oh, that was wussy. Let me look out there. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, yeah, here. <laughs> I don't. Okay, we're going to... Why? Why do you want to make the airplane go? Okay, okay let's say we're right. making a, a steep turn to get onto the, the runway here. And okay, we, so we've got to get it immediately. Oh, no. All right. Oh, I hear that stall wing. There's yeah. the stall. What's our airspeed? Um, 60. Yeah. So, um, so you can't stall it if we do a normal... Okay, so I should let your accelerated stall in the sense that the stall is at a higher rate. Because our wing is so heavily loaded. Pull back all those G's. If we do a normal stall, decelerated, we can get that thing almost off the gauge here before it actually does the stall. Right. And we're down to about 40. So if we can load the wing up and pull back really hard, there's our stall. Yep. If we load the wing up, it's going to stall at a much higher speed. And that's called accelerated stall because the wing loading wants to separate the air trigger. You want to try one? I could try. Okay. I was lost in that. Let's uh, I, go into this, maintain your steep turn and pull back really hard and fast. You got that? I got this, okay? All right. We're going to throttle back a little bit of sim simulating a uh, five steep turn to the airport. Keep, try to keep your coordinated controls and pull it back. Pull it back. Come on. Add, get it in there quick. Get it in there. Pull it back. Pull it back. Pull it back. Get that nose up there. Get that nose up. Get that nose all the way up there. Get it up there. Use two hands. Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay, you can hear the stall warning though, right? Oh yeah. Even though we were well above where the horn normally comes on. Right, right? yeah, that was almost 70, wasn't it? Yeah. So, uh, we didn't quite get it to break, but we were close to the stall. Okay, let's go back to the airport and we'll do a couple of land takeoffs and landings. Alright, so turn up this way to get into 45? Whatever, uh, you got the airplane, you're flying it, so. Okay. 